The gorillas normally the silverbacks make uh, that sound, and it's a sound uh, of comfort. So the silverback alerts the family, or is where, mm -mm, mm -mm. and the other ones respond. Mm -mm. We do that one in the bush to make our presence unknown and uh, to signal to them it's a friendly it's encounter. It's us. I'm afraid I've been working with Gorilla Doctors for the last six years. I'm called Dr. Ricky Okwir. I've been working with Gorilla Doctors for the past five years. I love working with it and I want the gorillas to be healthy and the population increase in numbers. Our role has been to intervene whenever there are human-related disasters to the gorillas in events of life-threatening conditions or disease. In total, we have 16 veterinarians. Every day, rangers go to the field to monitor the gorillas. And in case of any unusual sign, the, we are called and if we need an intervention, we can do an intervention. So they go to all the groups every day. Some rangers go to the communities to do sensitization and uh, awareness uh, campaigns so that we have uh, combined responsibility in uh, protecting and preserving them. And we have a better world for wildlife and for humanity. The world population is standing, especially the mountain gorillas is standing at 880. Mountain gorillas are increasing at a, a percentage of 4% per annum and researchers are attributing 2% to be from gorilla interventions. I feel I'm making a lot of difference. Being a gorilla doctor is a humbling um, experience, a sort of a dream come true job. We want uh, the community, the immediate and the entire world to appreciate conservation, conservation of mother nature. We want everyone to be conservation conscious. <laughs>